Fun fact, mealworm beetles can survive a trip through your entire digestive tract. And there's a tapeworm that can use mealworm beetles as Uber drivers straight to your gut. It's called the Hymenolepsis diminuta, or the rat tapeworm. And yes, in rare cases, humans can get infected too. Here's how the whole thing plays out. Imagine you open a bag of flour or grain that's been sitting a little too long. You don't see anything, so you bake it. But hiding inside the flour were mealworm beetles or their larvae, super common pantry pests. Now, here's the twist that most people have never heard. Mealworm beetles aren't the scary part. It's that they're one of the official hosts of the rat tapeworm. You see, rodents get into grain storage all the time. Their droppings contain tapeworm eggs. Mealworm beetles eat that contaminated material and inside their bodies, those tapeworm eggs hatch into tiny cysts. If a human accidentally eats an infected beetle or larva, usually in contaminated grain that wasn't cooked hot enough, that's how people can end up with rat tapeworm infection. Not from the beetle itself, but from what the beetle was carrying. The good news, it's rare and it's preventable. Here's how to avoid it. First, freeze all flour or grains for 48 hours to kill any insect eggs. Store dry food in airtight containers to keep both beetles and rodents out. Check packaging for holes or insect dust. That's a major sign of infestation. And if you ever see adult beetles in your pantry, toss the entire thing. So yeah, mealworm beetles don't just ruin your flour. Under the right conditions, they can literally deliver tapeworms.